Okay, I'm back in Hamburg. Okay. Sometimes you know you have to change as a company, person, city or as a country, you, you have to do certain things. The Opera House in Hamburg took longer than planned. They had to take many detours, but in the end, a lot of people who see it and hear it say it's the best Opera House in the world. Sometimes when you know you have to change, you have to make detours. So I wanted to find out today with our client here their motivation to change to the new way of work, what they learned, what you can avoid. I also want to find out what are the detours you have to make in order to get there where you want for new way of work. All right, so this this is him. This is IT Tim. <laughs> Actually, it started with the idea of bringing the emails to a cloud server to have that outsourced. And I showed, okay, what's possible with certain tools. And then you guys decided, okay, we want to do that. Um, I was hired for the new position um, of the Chief Information Officer for the Think Group. And the first assignment was to bring uh, the Think Group to the next level. Not only the email level, not only the IT, um, the next level in, in working. We have um, offices in Berlin, Munich, Düsseldorf, New York, Zurich. Um, Hamburg and for us it's, it's important to, to be flexible, not be dependent on um, location to offices. This is for the creative people very, very important. From your learning, you would go f and start saying, okay, what is the core tool? That's, that's also the process you would start yeah. with, like make a decision, is it for example G Suite or is it Office 365? Tim uh, is prepared, he has a list, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we started with G Suite, um, I think the second was then Better Cloud yeah. and Backup if I'm for the backups. Um, then we came with Zoho for invoicing in Zurich, I remember that. Like and the first CRM tool. And the first CRM tool, right, which we changed to ProsperWorks. Yeah. We did a detour here because we realized that um, you guys have not the kind of CRM culture other companies have. So we said we want something um, that is like, like on top of your mind when you open G Suite. Yeah. Um, I made another video about it, I will link it below. Personio and the private managed cloud for yeah. all the media files. Yeah. We uh, ordered a 10 gig, uh, a two 10 gig um, connections to the data center. All right. It's, like, um, I don't know, I think that is that size of a cable okay. and we have two of them. Okay. One uh, left side around the outside and one uh, right side um, okay. <laughs> for security reasons. What I would like to know from you are what are the learnings you made for setup wise and people wise where you, where you would say this is something you don't have to make. You can learn it in order to not make this mistake as a company. If you don't invest in the people and in the, the trainings, um, you, you make a big mistake. Yeah. It, it has to be the, the first step. You have to make the change in the yeah. people. You can have the best tools, but the people that, that change in their mind, that's, I think, yeah. the most important thing. But there are certain learnings you have to go through. Like, what are the, the detours you have to make as a company? But the people want it too to fast. Uh, they want the tool right now, and in the best case, in the next three months, the tool is live. Sometimes you have um, other departments that have other needs. You have to find other tools, other workarounds, and uh, that's the thing that de this detour, you cannot overjump it. <laughs> Michael is the founder of Think. And actually, you were also the godfather of new way of work here. Yeah, I think Tim was a, was a cornerstone into this, uh, to have one guy um, on my side who really helps me to, to push this into the organization. Yeah. So what was your motivation behind that? Because you're a big driver, I know that. My motivation is very simple. I, I, over the last years, I, I got the feeling that, that my productiveness, my effectiveness uh, went in a direction to worse. And I really had the feeling too many emails, too many meetings, too many cancelled meetings, uh, too many channels where people try to reach me. And uh, I really had the, the strong wish to, to become more effective and my feeling was that this is not just my problem, it's a problem which is in our industry and which is in our company. You have a lot of creative work but you also have a lot of collaboration. What would you say is the biggest challenge to implement new ways of work in agencies? Maybe we start with this collaboration thing. Uh, our work uh, is or was collaborative from the very first beginning. It was always so that there were plenty of different jobs there where uh, suppliers where we had to work together but this 
almost exploded. So we have to collaborate on a, on a, on a much uh, more uh, or higher level. So we really uh, need new tools because um, the old way of here's a document, uh, send it to 10 people, give me your feedback, and then you have 10 documents, it simply does not work yeah. because you have so many iterations with your clients, with your partners that it, uh, it does not work. So working in the cloud, uh, communicating from different uh, angles, uh, using not just emails, but some sort of social media tools. I, I always had the feel, or over the last years had the feeling that there has to be more tools, better tools. Uh, and and what we, we started it without you, as you know, um, uh, the training really is, 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 is the key. We have to train the people. Yeah. You have to really uh, invest money into trainings and then you have to yeah, lead by example, you have to do it yourself. I always say like if there is not the buy-in from the top management or from the founders, it doesn't work. Where would you say you personally had the biggest challenge like struggle to like start the new way of working really live it? Yeah, for me, the, the, so I'm, I'm, I'm an Apple kid since I think I use Apple products, Mac products since 1988. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always preferred the, the, the software they offered me. To take the Google product was a big step for me as well, because in the beginning I, I, I found the Google Mail awful. It looked awful. I said, well, where's my Mac uh, style of working? But uh, if you, yeah, I got the personal training from you, and this was the, the point when I said, well, I don't, I don't need folders anymore. I just have two flags. This was the, the point where I said, well, uh, there is hope. There is hope. And, if you then see how, how good the, the, the Google products work together, you know, whether it's a Hangout, it's Calendar, it's, it's everything. We sometimes use it when we're in the same room. So everybody has his laptop, we have the, the, uh, the file on the wall, and everybody is, is, is working into the document. Yeah, it's a it's, it's new way of working, and I like it. What's the stuff you want to change looking ahead, the next one, two years? Not everybody, in, uh, not everyone in the company really uses open, open uh, documents. Uh, not everybody really works in the cloud. There are still many people who are doing PDFs and uh, write the comments in PDF. So I think we, we have to focus on, on, on training and on, on good examples. The next step then could be uh, to invest into personal uh, effectiveness. So how do I split up my time over the day. So we have a, we have a group in the, in the a group of, of uh, young leaders who, who developed some new uh, models of working together, which one example is everybody has just to be in the company from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., just meetings within this time frame, and, and that we are really, uh, yeah, get better to, to organize ourselves. What I found out now is the, the perfect combination out of writing things by hand yeah. and, and my, my, my mobile. You should try to write down during the day three targets or three tasks you want to fulfill on the next day, just three. Mm -hmm. And one, one of these three is like written into stone. You have to, to fulfill this task. So when you come into the office, no, do, do not read your emails and the uh, newsletter XYZ. You have three tasks and do them probably until lunch and then you can do all the, the shit you have to do. And so it's, it's like amazing. A, like a contract you did with It's yourself. amazing, yeah. It's amazing. It. it works. It's a very good idea. I think that's a good ending point. And yeah. uh, we will keep you posted on um, the ideas we come up with. I think... Um, Michael is one of uh, the most uh, innovative guys when it comes to experimenting new ways of work, so I can try out a lot. Yeah, I'm happy to, to work with you guys, to work with Tim and my colleagues and partners, and uh, there's still, still room for improvement, and uh, it, it will never be at the end. So I hope that was helpful to you, and uh, if uh, it was so, please subscribe below, comment, and I'll see you next week for the next video. Thanks.